The Mitsubishi Mirage is the best selling micro car in the country, and it's also one of the most affordable options from a brand that's a household name. So, if you're in the market for a first car, an inexpensive second car, or even just something to get you to bowls and back, should you take a look at the Mirage? Let's check it out. Now I doubt many people are going to buy the Mirage for the way it looks, although at least it's fairly inoffensive and it's got a cute smile on its face. Now train spotters will note that this is the top spec LS model, which comes with fog lights, alloy wheels and a rear spoiler. I'm not so sure about the pop green paint however, and I'm definitely not sure about the 550 bucks that it costs to option it on. I think I'll stick to the standard white. What's more important than all this though, is this thing's size. At just a smidge over 3.7 metres, it's perfect for squeezing into tiny spaces in busy suburbs like mine. You'd think squeezing would be a neat segue to talking about interior space, but it's actually okay in here. I've got this set to my driving position and I've got enough knee space and decent headroom. And unlike two of its major rivals, the Fiat 500 and the Suzuki Solario, the Mirage comes with five seats rather than just four. And there's also six airbags in here, including these curtains which protect passengers in the rear. They help the Mirage get a five-star ANCAP safety rating. And there's a nice deep boot behind me too, which is big enough to swallow a couple of weekend bags or a week's worth of shopping. Sliding into the front, you'll notice that there's no big screen here, which means no sat-nav and no reversing camera. Although that's not such a bad thing in the Mirage, because it's got good visibility and it's got a square bum, which means it's easy to know where its corners are. The dash layout is very basic and there's nothing even close to a soft touch surface in here. However, it is refreshingly easy to use and you do get handy buttons on the steering wheel for audio, phone and cruise control. The Mirage does have one of the most complicated voice controlled Bluetooth pairing systems I've ever used. However, once you are paired to it, it remembers you quickly every time you jump behind the wheel. Speaking of, it's about time we went for a spin. The engine isn't exactly characterful like a lot of three cylinders. It's noisy and gruff and sends vibrations through the cabin. It is quite good off the line however, and it feels perky around urban environments. The CVT is quite slow to react and is prone to lurching and shuddering when you take your foot off the accelerator. It's not the most comfortable riding car. The suspension feels quite wooden and it tends to bang quite loudly over bigger lumps and bumps. The steering is also quite vague around the centre position and it's very slow at 3.5 turns lock to lock which means you'll be doing plenty of arm twirling around the city. There's also no reach adjustment on the rack which means the seating position may not suit all drivers. I also find that on really windy days the Mirage tends to get buffeted around a fair bit by the wind. Blame its skinny tyres, slab sides and light curb weight on that. Being so lightweight does help fuel economy though. We've been driving around in a bunch of different environments and seen fuel figures of about 6 litres per 100 kilometres. While the Mirage is the best selling car in its class, our pick is the Suzuki Solerio, which is newer, more polished, more comfortable and better to drive. The Suzuki can't match the Mirage's 5 year 100,000 km warranty however, or its 5 years of free roadside assist if you get it serviced with a Mitsubishi dealer, which could work in your favour because Mitsubishi offers 4 years of cap price servicing for just $1,000. Mitsubishi also regularly offers drive away deals on the Mirage, so if you're interested we'd suggest haggling hard with your dealer. It may not be the best option, but if purchase price, running costs and safety are priorities in a micro car, the Mitsubishi Mirage is well worth a look. 